You're on your Feel Good Breakfast show right here on S3. And I always tell you, we're opening you up to only the best because, of course, it is your Feel Good Breakfast show, Espresso. And this morning, live from the Johannesburg studios, I am so excited. I always tell you I'm fangirling, but it is because we have such excellence in this country. One of the people who has continued to go from strength to strength in the music industry is not just Grammy Award nominated. No, my friend, he is a multi-platinum selling artist as well as somebody who continues to be a super producer because his music is just mwah. I am talking about none other than Musa Keys. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Musa, welcome to Expresso. Thank oh. you for having me. Oh, of course. I mean, listen, like I told you, I'm fangirling because, Musa, I feel like you have the keys to all of the doors. You just keep opening them. And you open all the doors. All of them. 100%. Yeah. But let's talk about you and everything that's happening at the moment, particularly this Grammy nod. Yeah. How do you feel about it? And where were you even when you found out? Crazy thing, I was just in the basement parking but, um, when I received a notification. Yeah. Um, I was about to go into a meeting, actually. So, yeah, and it, it feels delicious. Yes. Like, it feels amazing. Yeah. Uh, I've been, like, talking about it for, like, the past two years. Mm -hmm. I kind of knew. <laughs> I love that. And I kind of knew that it was, like, really coming. Yeah. And it was just a matter of time. You know, mm. and like I've just told myself that this is like the beginning of my first of my Grammy nominee. Uh, uh, turned into wins yes. because you're going to win. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. And I have to ask you, Musa, when did that dream begin for you in terms of I want to win a Grammy one day? How old were you when you were like, I want that? I don't know how old I was. But yeah. I. That's when I like really had a very good relationship with music. Mm. And like starting to invest myself into like music that much understanding, taking some time off to like understand what's really happening yeah. and all of that. I love that. And of course, someone else who has a really great relationship with music is Davido. And this is why you two came together and now you're Grammy Award nominated. Speak to us about how that even came about. Uh, David sent me like a DM mm -hmm. at some point. Uh, wanted to work and I couldn't work because I, like, I preferred working in the studio. And then, okay. like, ups and downs, we were traveling, we met in different countries but still didn't make <laughs> records. Yeah until they send me the song they're like yo we actually need you on the album we can't drop the album without you and I'm like, oh, okay come on that's dope thank Let's you do it mm -hmm. and then i recorded and sent it back and then you know magic magic 100 percent. and also i just want everyone to know we all call him davido it's david for musa okay <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> musa mr first name basis we also know that you are going to be on a first name basis with the likes of kendrick because coming up in the festive season you're going to be part of hey neighbor true true yeah true. crazy and thing kendrick is like a very big inspiration you know oh. i love his concepts and stuff yeah so it's a pretty much dope experience sharing a stage with him. It's yeah. going to be crazy. But this is why I want to ask you, because I remember when you performed at one of the summers, I, or I even think it was, no, I think it was another awards show, but you were like the highlight. You ended off the entire show, and it was incredible because you came with all of these lights, all of the dances and everything. What are you going to be bringing to Hey Neighbor? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, I'm going to bring, like, the best, you know, like... I'm actually preparing for my show in December, right? Yes. So I'm trying to test out a little bit of the things that I'm going to be doing at the show. So if you okay. really do come and be at the front front row, yeah. you'll get an experience of like what's really going to happen. I'm, I think undoubtedly I am the best performer. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You heard it on Express, so he said it. Thank you very much. The yeah. best performer indeed is what you prove over and over again. Yeah. And this is why I know a lot of people are looking forward to what you're going to be doing with your show in terms of your homecoming. Speak to us about that. What does it mean to you? It means quite a lot. You know, like I've been traveling for ever since my, my career started like taking off. Mm. I've been forever away from home. Yeah. <laughs> so now it's like actually time where I was like, let me actually make some time to actually get back and really give back to <clears throat> where I grew up and yeah. stuff, you know, also spend a little bit of time with my family and all of that. So, Aww. yeah. I'm so happy for you because you've just been giving. You're giving to us the whole I've time. I've been giving, yeah. you know. So you have to come come through, man. It's like 35,000 people. Yeah. So it's, it's going to be a massive one. 
and I'm so proud of you because you just continue to just show everyone what it means to genuinely make your dreams come true. But speaking of giving, you're also wanting to give back in terms of the community and where you're from. Sure. How have you been, you know, kind of getting into that already and how do you want to do it with this show as well? With the show, I mean, whatever you all want me to do. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But however, I've actually been speaking to some blogs and stuff. They're like organizing some giveaways for schools, mm. like, you know, people that are disadvantaged, yes. people that don't have access to all of that. Sure. So I've really been taking part in that. You know, we're going to be giving away like school shoes and stuff early next year. Wow. And all of that. So that's what I've. That's my giving part. <laughs> That's incredible. That's my, honey, you, you, you've done more than give, and it's beautiful that you're even wanting to do that for the community, because not everybody does. No. And like I said, I'm so proud of you. I can't wait to be at the one-man show. I can't wait to be at all the others as well. And sure. thank you so much for coming through, and we cannot wait for your performance, sir. Yep. Ah. Danko, his name is Musa Keys, and he is still going to be in the building because he's going to be giving us a performance of a lifetime. Remember, he said, best performer there is. Everything you love right here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show continues. It's my Feel Good Breakfast Show. We did tell you at the beginning of the show, get his my boss. And this is why we had to bring somebody who was going to actually make sure that we know it is December. We're talking about the soon-to-be Grammy Award-winning artist. Yes, in fact, it is Musa Keys, and he's performing his song, Wake, Wako, rather, by, of course, himself and Mlindo. Please give it up for Musa Keys! <laughs> Everybody at home, all you have to say is what go, 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 she, you're much more long shop over, then you can
my goodness. Somebody that you know you love, and especially with a voice like this. Oh, you can't get enough of it. And this is why I say he's going to be soon to be Grammy Award winning. Coming up, though, right here on your Feel Good Breakfast show, we are indeed going to be getting into the ultimate entertainer's platters. And trust me, you want that because December's right here, and you're going to be entertaining people, right? But then we also have the blueberry moment mocktail recipe on the way. Stay exactly where you are because there's a whole lot more on top of that right here on S3.